This is Gold Country, home to the California Gold Rush and home to Doc Spence, full-time mobile veterinarian and part-time treasure hunter. Oh, look, there's something there. Doc's wife, Susan, runs the vet business from home. Dr. Spence is. While he's out helping animals and digging up treasure. Wow. Doc hopes to one day bring home a big find. But in the meanwhile, he'll work to bring home just enough gold to keep Mrs. Spence happy. She knows in the long run, eventually she's going to get some gold out of this. Nights can be dangerous in gold country, and Dr. Dennis Spence is on call 24-7. Tonight, he's been called out on an emergency to a client's sheep ranch. Hey, Joe. What happened here? Well, I think I've got a, a mountain lion attack here. Uh, I heard the ruckus and chased him off, but uh, mm -hmm. he's still got a, a little bit of problem here on the neck. Yeah. Because Doc is the only one who really goes to a lot of these remote places, we get calls in the middle of the night. It's a dangerous business, and I worry about him. Her heart rate is, of course, really rapid, but her lungs sound good, so it doesn't seem like there's any punctures into the lungs, you know, okay. at this point. So that's a good sign. Her color looks decent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think she'll make it? Well, I know one thing. She's not going to bleed to death, that's for sure. The only thing we're going to have to worry about is infection, mm -hmm. and if we got a gaping wound, we might have to suture. we got to get her stabilized first. You gotta be careful because if you suture a wound a lot of times, don't let it drain, it traps the infection in there. We'll just hope there's no more internal injuries. Right. You know, could she not survive this? There's always that possibility there could be some internal injury right. that we couldn't find. And in time, something may develop. These people, they live in this remote area and they love their pets, they love their animals, and he's their, he's their lifeline. Um, I'm gonna give her a shot of antibiotics and also I'll give her something for shock. Sounds good. I think that's the best approach. Many people in Gold Country live hours away from the nearest vet hospital, making Doc Spence's mobile vet service vital to the community. Located in the Sierra Nevada mountains in Northern California, these small communities make for a long commute. Though the seclusion makes work difficult, it's the perfect environment for Doc's real passion, hunting for treasure. For at least 150 years, there's been people here searching for gold. You could get a pick and shovel or you could get a pan. You could go out to one of these streams and rivers and pan and you could find gold if you're lucky. Gold country is a nice area that you can get away from the big cities and be in tune to nature. Enjoy your hobby as going out, finding gold or relics. It's to take the time to enjoy life. Hey, where are you? I'm heading home for breakfast. Susan's my lovely wife, which I've been married for 37 years. So we get married and he decides he's gonna open his own practice and be a mobile vet because he loves going up in the hills. When we started the business, she actually took on the business role of the accounting and, and did all that herself. And lo and behold, our family gets started unexpectedly. So that changed things. And so I had to quit school, quit my job, work for Dennis, carry a baby on my hip. And then she would also occasionally step in when I was missing an assistant and fill in. And then, of course, raise three kids in the process. I just got a call from Tom Lair. Um, he has an impossible rainy situation at his place. Looks like you're going to need to go over there first. Rabies is very serious up here. It's actually what we call an endemic disease which means it's continually here. The animal immediately has to be quarantined, immediately. Hey, how are you? I'm good, glad you could come over. Let me get my stuff. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Tom's been a friend of mine for 40 years. Tom is a lifelong treasure hunter. We've gone out looking for mining relics. He recently sold a pick for $1,000. 
understand you might have a rabies problem here. 